My son, Nicholas Stickle, is six years old. He is a student here at Tohicken Valley Elementary School. In 2012, he was diagnosed with a pilomyxoid astrocytoma inside his spinal cord. He's had three major surgeries, um, the resecting tumor from his spinal cord. Um, we just finished our third year of chemotherapy. Uh, his last surgery was in October of 2016, and it left him in a wheelchair with little to no function on his left side. We lived at the hospital for 10 months when he went through uh, intense rehab to try to learn how to walk again. He is walking uh, with assistance. Um, he has another MRI on March the 27th to check to see for tumor growth. We're hoping no more. Um, he is funny. He's, he's, he's a great kid. He's got a really good attitude. He's very positive. Um, but it's been a very difficult couple years with him and all he's had to endure. You know, the medical expenses are extremely, it, it's hard. Um, uh, you know, insurance, fight you on everything. I can't tell you how many letters I've gotten that it's not medically necessary to have an MRI. Um, and then the doctors have to send more paperwork and I have to call them and it's just a big battle trying to get um, everything to make sure that it's covered. Um, one thing with the medical expenses um, that we've had a big issue with is Nicholas has scoliosis um, from the tumor being in his spinal cord and the braces are about $3,000 a piece. Um, insurance only covers two a year and Nicholas usually goes through about six um, because he's so young with scoliosis and he's growing so fast. Uh, long term we have no idea what it's going to do to Nicholas um, because he's so young and a lot of the, the chemo that he's been through um, is newer stuff that they don't have data on, you know, they don't even know if it's going to work. Uh, I mean, it, it is so helpful. I'm a single mom mm -hmm. <laughs> doing all this by myself, um, you know, driving back and forth to the hospital, it gets expensive. Um, like I said, things that aren't covered, um, it gets expensive. And, um, you know, so being able to have that help, I mean, you can't even put words to what it means.